Hello, my name is Suzanne Michelle Powers and I'm starting a new series of videos for those of you who are interested in the theme of creativity and the visual arts. And I'm going to present approximately 12 videos before the holidays uh, start, November and December, and they will take in several lessons on the fundamentals of art. But first I want to introduce myself. I want to explain to you uh, what it is that we're doing exactly. We, I'll be presenting the fundamentals and laws of art, the elements of art, basics you need to know before you take off and express yourself. And then what you need the instruments, the sketchbooks, the papers, the canvases, whatever you need. And uh, I'll be doing those things throughout the videos, but I want to give you a quick introduction right now. I also want to explain that my channel, Creativity, Starbell Productions Creativity in the Visual Arts, is learning a learning situation. This is my first live video production I've done. I'm only using my smartphone even though I have a beautiful camera. You maybe you can see it in the back there, Lumix. And I can also use my laptop, I guess. So I'm going to be trying a variety of things. Uh, for me, these are uh, experimental videos for you to understand what it's like to be creative and let go and, and explore your imagination using keys or tools or fundamentals, the elements of art. So I hope we all will have fun. I have taught school and private lessons and developed my own understanding of art since I was three. And so these, this is for people that are preschoolers up to seniors, three to 83, maybe 93. Okay, so first of all, um, this is an introductory video. It's not going to be a demonstration of anything, and you may not have um, your tools and things that you need available, so we'll be going into that briefly. Um, but I want to explain to you who I am. Um, I'm a master artist. That takes almost a lifetime to become. It's for um, different steps and I'll go into that later on of how I got there. So you can pretty much trust me to have had a, quite a background. I'm an internationally exhibited and award-winning uh, painter uh, and I reached the title of artist and now master artist. And it's very, I'm very pleased to have that. Also I'm a master teacher in art and I have an MAT from Lewis and Clark College um, I've had many, many exhibits and sold works and developed portfolios throughout my lifetime. And it's a joy for me to teach others. I've taught pre-K children to adults, and it's, I love all the levels I've worked on. I've worked in public and private schools and private lessons. So that's something about who I am. Um, I'll be including my background and, and my experiences in art as I developed in myself and with teachers and professors, mentors, um, as we go along in the videos. The uh, second part is what it's about, and that is uh, the lessons of the elements of art, the fundamentals, the keys, the laws, if you will. And you'll be surprised to find how important the visual visual art is in cognitive learning, in development, in curriculums that should never be um, eliminated. And we're going to explore that, the profound power that art has is the power of observation. And that is what has influenced the sciences that are the arts, and the visual arts have um, influenced. We'll be discovering all kinds of ideas and imagination, quotes from scientists, engineers, and other artists, writers, about what creativity is all about. 
So this is about creativity in the visual arts and people who have made comments that are worthwhile knowing. And to make you comfortable with creativity, I've had friends and colleagues that I've worked with throughout the years come up to me in the private sector, not the non-educational sector like the finance, financial or even technology and wonder what is creativity? I had a teacher that just confused me and I didn't know how to answer exactly and I've been wanting to write a book about this since I was in my early 20s and finishing my education. So along with these videos I'll be finishing my manuscript on creativity and um, if you want to put comments in I may that are interesting I might pick a few out so remember that uh, if you want to contribute to the manuscript. So we will be discussing what art, what art is, what creativity is, and what is an artist? What is an apprentice? And it's very interesting. It's all learning experience and I'm still having a learning experience in it. It's, it never gets dull. Then the final part of what we're going to do today is what you need. And I know that you're seeing um, e easel behind me, an easel, there's two easels behind me, a display easel which is very small and it has one of my paintings on it that's for sale and um, the working easel in back of me, I have an easel I'll bring out later when we do painting uh, to take out to on location. There are all sizes of easels. Um, this is a little tiny easel that I have that I can, you can put little sketchbooks on it and little pieces of art. So you have a little tiny miniature art. There's even smaller pieces of miniature art that will fit on that. So that's, it's very interesting. You can decorate with your little pieces of art. Okay, so here's another kind of easel. Uh, some people call it a sandwich board. But it has a chalkboard and it has a whiteboard on the other side and um, you can use that to sketch on if you want. I don't know exactly where your imagination will take you or your ideas. So th what you need is a big part of this video besides getting to know me. Um, my name is Suzanne Michelle Powers. I hope I introduced me in the beginning. I'm a little nervous. This is my first time. As I said, it's going to be raw video, no editing, just straightforward and using my smartphone. So sketchbooks are, are the most important thing to get maybe first, that and what you're going to draw with. We're going to be doing drawing, uh, black and white and grays and uh, Conte red, uh, charcoals uh, at first. So you need sketchbooks. This is a small one you can take with you in your purse or just put it in your pocket. It has really nice paper in it and a waterproof covers and you can um, use it with a pencil or a pen. Uh, fine, t fine tip pens are really good for this. I have some over here on my easel. Real fine tip pens because it's so small. You see how tiny the, the pinpoint is. And um, then you can, if you see it, get an idea even. You might scribble down in words what it's about or you might scribble a sketch real fast. That's why they're called sketchbooks. You just take them with you, get ideas, put your ideas down. No matter how old you are, I had a seven-year-old who loved art and she loved having notebooks with her ideas in it. In fact, she gave me one. <laughs> so this is another size sketchbook that I really recommend if you're serious about developing your art into larger projects. And I happen to have a sketch in it of a whale watch I was on and uh, using watercolor uh, pastels and paints and gold metallic pen inks in it. These are sea lions and a blue whale out in the bay of Monterey Bay, but it's almost abstract and the colors are so vibrant. Then I had little, you can see up close if I show you up close. Um, this is a pen and ink of a whale breach, a group of whales breaching. I'd never seen anything like that. And there was no time for my camera. I just sketched it faster than I could take out my camera. So, and I have several of those. I have many notebooks full of sketches. Um, and you might want to go to my website. I will be publishing that on my channel in YouTube. 
It's www.starbellenterprises, all one word, lowercase.com. And there you'll see a series of watercolors that I've done over the years of the California Marine Life Federally Protected Sanctuaries. And it protects the marine life there, and including grasses, butterflies, whales, uh, sea otters. It's, it's a wonderful place to come and visit. And it's made a, a effort to help all the people of California appreciate their own resources and, and have they have decided over the past few years to protect the entire coast through state parks, underwater parks, um, and federally protected. So local, state, and federal protected coastline is what I'm interested in the most right now, but I'm going to be changing my whole theme and portfolio. So this is an interesting time for me. I'm going to be moving away from seascapes and the marine life sanctuaries of California. I may show you some of those if I develop them during this time. That'd be interesting for you to watch me grow and change. Okay, then here is a large um, sketchbook. It is a newsprint sketchbook. I recommend you getting a one, at least one large sketchbook like this. It's really uh, the biggest I think you can get besides single sheets. And it's newsprint, it's very thin, cheap paper actually. And you can sketch with charcoal and pencil on, on it and get ideas and do many kinds of little sketches all over the page. Uh, you'll see in Renaissance, the Renaissance masters, they have done several uh, things like that where they've put hands or a nose, an arm, whatever on the, a page and using Conti crayons and charcoal. So what I have next is, besides the sketchbooks, oh, I guess I should show you my sketchbook that I'm working in right now. This is my creativity uh, manuscript sketchbook. And I started it uh, last year, and I just write in it. It's really nice paper. It's, it's leather bound, and um, I tried to put it together as how I'm going to do the format and um, table of contents even. And then I drew experiments with uh, paints, and splotches, and so on in it. Just all kinds of things that I like to do um, in it. So you see a creativity flow going on. Once you get started, you never stop. It's in a constant stream, and it's so healthy for you to have a creative outlet, even if it's just listening to music. But in visual arts, it's an activity that you have to be involved in, so it's really good for you. Okay, so those are our sketchbooks, and then I recommend getting uh, pencils, charcoal pencils, and usually they come with an eraser because, and you also may want uh, to get a cloth, soft cloth, a small one or a large one, and um, you use those, you'll see, I'll show you, when you're sketching, charcoal is really soft material, granular, and you can erase it very easily and leave a shadow of what you're doing. And this has a white uh, Conti crayon in it. It's, I guess it's white charcoal. And you can do all kinds of things with white. Conti crayons are other um, kinds of uh, it, tools to use to uh, draw with, sketch with. And um, you can find those in um, many stores that carry art supplies. I recommend uh, if you have a Michaels near you or a Michaels online, they have an extensive um, supply of art materials, canvases, all kinds of drawing utensils, um, instruments, and paints, so on, uh, and easels, everything you need. So. That is um, one, and then Hobby Lobby uh, is another. We don't have Hobby Lobby here where I live in Silicon Valley. They have Michaels here, and all the other stores that I used to go to have closed down. So uh, I do online ordering too. I think, well, Dick Blick is a great online store uh, for professional and just people that love to do art, need supplies, and you can order from them um, at their website. Utrecht is very professional. 
uh, it's out of Holland, and they have great linens and canvases that you can buy in the roll. We'll go into that later when we start painting. Um, and uh, any store that has small stores, there's not too many left, that has art supplies, I recommend uh, that you patronize and I just go and look if nothing else. And they usually have art books there. Be careful about buying any how to draw books. A lot of them are for commercial artists. It's a certain style or what we call genre. And I don't recommend it when you're starting out, especially you want to stay open and find your own little niche on how you like to draw until you're comfortable. Um, this is another wonderful um, art drawing kit. It's a sketching kit, drawing and sketching set 101. I found this at a Michael's store. It has uh, the rubber thing that you use to erase lines or uh, all kinds of pencils. You want to have a variety of pencils. Um, and they have um, uh, rubber ra um, erasers, kneadable erasers, I mean, that you can pull apart and you can make it go into certain little crevices that you're making your drawings from. And there's uh, usually a um, pencil sharpener in these. Those aren't very good. I recommend you getting a rather large pencil sharpener. This one has two holes in it and catches the um, peelings of the pencils and um, it, it's just you need to have this if you have an electric electric pencil sharpener it's the best but if you're out sketching somewhere you can't take it with you so I recommend that and then drawing colors this isn't painting this is drawing colors these are watercolor brush pens you can have a full set all kinds of colors it's perfect it makes beautiful 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 lines and sketches in colors and this is a water soluble wax pastel set and it, it it's a whole different texture texture is one of the things we're going to be looking at so you might try two kinds of colors that for sketching and pastels are one there's chalk pastels these are wax pastels and i'll go find i have several other kinds i will show you as we go along um, and then the watercolors are pens and pencils. Uh, it, it's just incredible. And then colored pencils. When you add color, it's a major thing. So these are things you need. You might find just individual things. I found this uh, wild goose quill in a park where they love to come um, near here and picked it up. I can cut the quill, the point down if I want to, dip it in ink. Inks are wonderful. Uh, materials to work with. We'll try to do some ink drawings, not just from uh, pens. And this is one of my favorite things. It's a porcupine quill. A porcupine quill. And it has two ends, well fine and medium. I've used it for several drawings I've had in the past. It's just fun to work with. There are things like that. The Japanese have beautiful bamboo pins they carved out of uh, stalks of bamboo and it makes a really nice line when you draw in, with it in ink. So look around for things like that. The your art stores have a variety of drawing utensils, you, or instruments I should say, um, that are unusual and that aren't in kits. But you can get really nice pens with great points. I mean you can get extra extra fine fine, medium, broad, whatever. And uh, of course calligraphy pens are for calligraphy, but you can use them if you want in sketching. It's all right. Then in the end, after you have your drawing uh, instruments, your sketchbooks, you might have one or two, a large one, the newsprint, a medium one for you to take with you around, and maybe a real small one just to see what it's like to sketch into a small size. You might want to think about getting a bag to put these things in. This is the one, this is my newest one. I have three or four bags. And it is Van Gogh's irises. And it has a little place for, uh, a little zippered place inside. It's waterproof. And all of my sketchbooks and utensils or instruments uh, fit in there 
if I'm going to go out uh, sketching. So we have covered our um, who I am. My name is Suzanne Michelle Powers. I go by my middle name, Michelle. And I sign all my work with my last name, Powers, to honor my father, who was a professional artist, musician in the schools and a professional musician. So I have, I didn't, I didn't tell you that I've taken my um, project I had as an NEA professional artist in the schools, National Endowment for the Arts. Uh, I was, I had a grant for that, part of a grant. And I presented these projects um, to children, elementary school children, and we built wonderful things out of the elements as we learned them. So this is a recognized project, hopefully after the holidays. It depends on my grant money. Um, we will have a video, streaming video, for a presentation in a classroom, a grade school classroom where we do some of these projects, uh, ideas we're doing here, and to build a sculpture, and eventually a metal sculpture that the school will get. I don't know if that's really going to happen, I hope, and then the, the sculpture will be in uh, exhibit in four universities and colleges in the West Coast. So that is where we are right now. I hope you bared with me. My introduction is, is raw and um, I'm not going to edit it and as we go along and I learn more what I want to do I hope we will be able to um, edit and do more things with it I learned how to put my little studio inside my kitchen I'm just working from my kitchen I, I work outside I'm a post impressionist kind of painter um, abstract expressionist uh, all kinds of contemporary styles I work in and but I'm doing my videos right now inside, and I hope to do one at least outside. I have another easel to show you, a French easel, where the Impressionists used to take out and do their wonderful paintings outside. I sketch outside for my work and then take them in and work them up at home or on, in my carport. Uh, and then there's studios to rent as well. So you, you'll see there's all kinds of ways to grow. If you want to go get real serious about your work um, and ways to show it in galleries online if you don't get into a gallery right around uh, brick and mortar kind I've been in those but there's the galleries online are just as important uh, Starbell Enterprises will be opening a gallery after the the year, New Year's next year I'm hoping uh, in February with my work in it and commissions accepted so I will show you my new uh, theme I'm going into in my portfolio and I'll be talking about different um, portfolios I've developed over the years and um, why I developed those, why they happened. And I hope that your comments and any emails that you send me will be relevant to what we are studying and your growth. I want, I want to foster people's acceptance and, and embrace and creativity in their lives. Everybody's creative. They just have to tap into their creativity and not be afraid of it. And that's what I want to see. I hope that you enjoyed this small, brief, raw, <laughs> filmed video for uh, our introductory. And um, it will stay with us as we continue on and uh, develop these ideas with you. Now is the time. Next, the next uh, video will be on creativity, creativity one, and it's just a talking video, pretty much. And I'll show you some books I love and I, artists that I love that you may want to get books about and read about. Um, artists are often teachers, and uh, and it's they're wonderful teachers and they um, are very um, open about what they do and, and why they do it, mostly, most artists are. And so I hope that you'll stay with us, stay with me on these videos as we proceed. Also, I'm hoping that our presentations will get a little smoother and I may start doing some editing later on down the line. 
So thank you for joining me today. My name is Suzanne Michelle Powers. My company is Starbell Productions in Starbell Enterprises, my online business. And I hope you'll check out everything you can about me online. And come back on our next video, which will be next week on Creativity One. And you have time now to go out and do some shopping. Thank you. Goodbye.